Hello there, Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Glaze. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we ran around here, we explored the mine, we blew up some TNT. In today's episode, we're going to continue from this point. I've actually brought us back to the town we're supposed to head out of. So today, we're going to make our way through the Gemini River and hopefully to the next town. Am my hair to think that Stormy City is always raining. So we are actually going after Stormy City. So that's what we're planning to get to. I believe it's a kind of small route to get there. So that's what we're going to try to do. I also do know that there's going to be a bunch of battles. So once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments. Make sure you give this video a like and let's take this guy on. So I know there's going to be a lot of battles coming up, but I do want to give our Pokemon the XP. I've actually trained up all of our Pokemon quite a bit, so everybody except Eevee's pretty much at level 35-ish, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to level them up, as I am trying to get Lanky and Gilligan to evolve. I know that Lanky's probably going to be the most crucial one to evolve before the next gym, so let's go ahead and take this person on. Okay, let's keep on going. I actually don't know how long this route is, but it looks like we're going to have another battle. Okay, so if you guys remember, we actually got the HM Rock Smash. So we're going to go ahead and have to teach this to a Pokemon. Now, I think there's one Pokemon in particular that we could definitely put this move on. It won't have too big of an effect. So I'm going to go ahead and teach it to Cheeky. Cheeky doesn't have that many moves that are going to be too helpful or too good. So let's go ahead and get rid of Revenge. You know, we'll eventually clean these little move sets we have on our Pokemon up. And we'll add all the other moves. Also, I hope you guys are having a happy Friday. I've actually been having a great week. I've been a little bit sick though so you guys might be able to hear that i don't know what it is maybe it's the climate change maybe it's the weather going from chicago all the way to el salvador but you know once in a while you just happen to get sick but i wanted to make sure that you know i got back here and had a great friday with you guys because i did want to keep going on with our adventure now another cool thing is last time i asked you guys what your biggest fears were and a lot of you guys told me a lot of different fears it's kind of you know it's it's crazy and it's awesome you know how everybody can have a different fear because of like you know the way they live their life or the way they grew up or you know a story or a moment wait hang on what haha <laughs> now you finally have my revenge i'll just take these and be on my way uh pikachu just stole our badges you're so screwed right now see you never Okay, so, you know what? This Pikachu has been messing with us non-stop. Now he stole our badges. What the heck is going on? Let's take this guy on, though.
Okay, and there we have it, guys. And with that, it looks like our starter, our wonderful little monkey, Lanky Kong, is finally going to evolve into its final evolution. I'm actually really excited for this because this is one of those Pokemon that I've always really, really liked and haven't had the chance to use too much. So with that, guys, look at our little guy. Congratulations, our Lanky evolved into Infernape. And there we have it, guys. We have a fully evolved, super strong Pokemon. So let's keep on moving through here. I'm actually really excited to have an Infernape, and we're gonna have a battle. And with that, guys, Gilligan is also evolving. So this is the other Pokemon that I've been wanting to evolve for quite a while. I feel like Gilligan's been putting in a lot of work for our team. So it's going to be a very well-deserved evolution. Gilligan's been all over the place, taking down pretty much everyone. So I'm pretty happy with this. With that, guys, it looks like another one of ours. Congratulations, our Gilligan evolved into Swampert. So with that, guys, we now have an Infernape and a Swampert. And we're looking really, really strong. Also, this route is actually giving out a lot of XP from what I've noticed. So I'm going to go ahead and put Lanky up in front. I want to get Lanky as powerful as possible before the next gym because I know that it's going to be a tough one. So let me go ahead and try to battle this trainer. Okay, we bump into something in the grass. Can it at least be some... It's okay. A little Buizel. Okay, a little Buizel. Something about this little Buizel trying to get on our team. But you know what? We already have a strong water type. So I don't think we're going to do much with this. Let's go ahead and get out of here then. I do want to battle this guy though because I know they're giving me so much XP and it's something that I need. So let's take him on. Okay, so we're already level 37 on Infernape. If you think about that, that's pretty great considering we started at 35 today. Hey, Rodri! Fancy meeting you here, Rodri. Off to beat Leaf, I assume. Someone just reported that the foreman in Gemini Village was kidnapped, and I'm just about to find out what happened. What, what happened to your badges? R really? A Pokemon stole them? Bad luck. I hope you managed to retrieve them. I have to run now. Stay safe, Rodri. All right, see you later, Blake. I, he, I like how he doesn't even care. He's just like, yep, that kind of sucks for you. With that, guys, we have arrived in Stormy City, though. So this is the city we've been wanting to get to for a while. We can't really use the HM strength until we defeat this gym. And I believe that's probably what we're going to have to do next time. Travel back a little bit to, you know, that mountain and make our way through there with strength and rock smash. It's probably going to be a little bit more puzzly. But with that, guys, let's go ahead and explore around Stormy City. So it looks like there is a gym here. Stormy City's gym. It's Leader Lee the hardworking gardener so it sounds like it's gonna be a grass type gym and I do believe that's what you guys told me I'm gonna go ahead and stock up on a couple items though you know one of the things that have totally been blowing my mind because I've just been used to doing a randomizer nuzlocke I completely haven't even bought like revives and I totally forget that I can actually use them in this adventure considering we have had a lot of Pokemon get knocked out I'm just gonna buy like two just in case going into the gym because I know it's gonna be a bit of a tough gym let's go ahead and look around stormy city though because I believe there's a lot lot more here than meets the eye the building with the blue roof houses the only submarine fairy in donut that's pretty cool so they have a submarine fairy what is this the pokemon adoption clinic let's go ahead inside here then and if this is what it sounds like i believe you can adopt all these pokemon here so if you guys want a mudkip 
or, you know, a Sceptile, or a Jolteon, or a Zangoose. I guess there are a bunch of Pokemon here that you can add. That's actually really cool. And the fact that, oh, it's a Grovile. The fact that we can talk to them, too. Look at this. He's like, I can work with that. Will you adopt me? Now, I can't really adopt this guy because I don't have any room. But if you guys want to add them, that's actually really cool. You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in adopting not just pets, but Pokemon as well. I've always, you know, adopted dogs. I think I've never really gone out and bought one except Killian the Little Husky. But with that, guys... Hey, welcome to the Stormy Gym. The leader leaf uses grass type. Going up with an electric try is a bad idea. Now, as I said, we're going to have a lot of battles here today. And it looks like this is the right route. But I do want to give our Lanky more XP. So I'm going to go ahead and take them on. Alright guys, Lanky's at 38. How much stronger can we get? You know, I'm, pre I'm feeling pretty good about this gym, considering our fire type is so freaking strong. Also, I have a bunch of lava cookies here. I actually purchased these earlier, and they're pretty much just full heals, so that should come in pretty handy. We're going to have a couple more battles, so let's take this person on. So with that, guys, Lanky is officially level 39. Now, that's actually kind of funny. Level 39 is pretty high up there. Let's see if we can push for 40. Okay, well, we didn't get to 40, but we got to 39. Let's get ready, though, to take on Leaf. I feel like everybody's been talking about Leaf for a while. Everybody's like, Leaf this, Leaf that. I'm going to go ahead and use a Super Potion on Lanky, though. And I'm feeling pretty good, guys. So let's go ahead and challenge this gym leader. I'm actually really excited for this fight. A challenger? My name is Leaf. Do you like my garden? I've spent many hours pruning and sculpting everything here, but I wouldn't say no to a gym battle. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Leaf. So let's go ahead and take on Leaf. Uh, let's see what this guy's about. You know, if it goes with his name, he's probably going to have a lot of grass types. He's going to open up with a jump puff. Level 34, but I do feel pretty good with Lanky. I feel like Lanky's going to be able to sweep this gym. I do wish that we had, like, a move to power up a little bit, because then I would know that we could just completely crush this grass type gym. Oh my goodness, this guy was trying to substitute on us. All right, that's too bad. He's going to go down. I'm feeling really, really good, and I feel that we're just going to absolutely crush this. As I said to you guys earlier... Infernape's one of those Pokemon that always stood out to me. I just thought that it was so strong and so powerful. And I think it's one of those Pokemon that's really well designed. It looks so cool. If any of you guys play League of Legends, you know, I play it quite a bit. There's a Wukong skin that actually looks just like, you know, Infernape. And it's really awesome. I love to play with that skin, even if I don't play with that character that much. This Venusaur is actually taking quite a whooping right now, too. Going for the Swords Dance. I like how such a slow Pokemon is going to try to go for the Swords Dance. I wish that we had Swords Dance. That'd be really cool. But I do believe that we're going to be learning a couple moves to power us up as we get going. Now, as I was saying, I've always had this, you know, this attraction to fire types. Something about them being so strong. And, you know, one of the fire types that I've been thinking about lately is because, you know, I saw this random episode of the anime when I was just watching TV. And, you know, I saw the screen where, you know, it was the episode where you can see, you know, Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos. And it also shows Arcanine. And it kind of makes you think that Arcanine... 
could be a legendary, you know, you really think about it. And I think it's one of those Pokemon that have slowly been, you know, just a little bit, just kind of pushed away, you know. But I've always thought that it's really strong. I've always thought Arcanines are great. And you know what? I would love to see a Mega Evolution for Arcanine. I think that would be amazing, especially with Sun and Moon coming out. I think Arcanine is one of those Pokemon that I would love to see Mega Evolve, just because I think it has so much potential to be even stronger than it already is. We officially learned, uh, grew to level 40, by the way. Oh, and we're learning Calm Mind, right as I was speaking of that. Let me go ahead and get rid of... What move? You know what? I think I'm gonna get rid of Scratch. I don't think we use Scratch that much, honestly. And I do like that we have Fire Spin now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just forget that. We're gonna go ahead and learn Calm Mind. So we should be able to sweep some teams as we get going now with Calm Mind. Last but not least, last but not least is Tangrowth. It is level 34. So as I was saying, I would really like to see an Arcanine with Mega Evolution. And I think it'd be really cool. I feel like all of us have one Pokemon that just kind of stands out like that. And I think that's one of those that I always thought was just so great. It's so powerful, and it really is powerful, and that I would love to see it, you know, taken to the next level. But with that, guys, we are so close to taking down the Tangrowth. This is something that I feel I feel pretty good about. So let me go ahead and use, use one more Lava Cookie. I've had actually to use a lot of Lava Cookies here today. We might have to go back and pick some up. So I'll go ahead and do that once we get Fly, if we do get Fly, considering we haven't even got Surf yet. So that's why I went ahead and taught Water Pulse to Gilligan. For the, those of you guys that are wondering, I also thought taught Thunderbolt to Cranky. Daenerys has the same moves. Eevee still has the same moves. Cheeky pretty much has the same moves. And Lanky pretty much the same. Just, you know, with Fire Spin and Calm Mind now. So at least our teams are definitely getting a lot better. And, you know, we are improving quite a bit. The gyms aren't as tough as they once were. It might be because Lanky absolutely destroyed the pass route and everything in its path. You know, that's what that's what the Infernape seems like to me. It just seems like the Pokemon to just go ahead and just destroy everything in its path without even considering anything. And I kind of like that. That's what I like about Fire that you know they're crazy and they're just out there and they're uncontrollable i really like that let's go ahead and see if we can take this tangrowth down though we're very close to taking it down i think this should do it if i can just land my last hit on it so let me go ahead yeah good thing it's burned i'm gonna go for the flame wheel that should take down the tangrowth and we are gonna be good to go ladies and gentlemen so there we have it it is super effective the tangrowth has gone down we gained a bunch of xp we defeated leader leaf I know how to take defeat graciously. You won fair and square, so you've earned the STEM badge. Congrats! We got 1320 for winning, and with that, guys, we have obtained the STEM badge. That is the first, technically, because we lost all our badges. Out of eight, here in the donut region, we also obtained TM22. You know, we're actually going to have to start figuring out what happened to our badges with that little Pikachu? Because we are back down to one badge. So hopefully once we find all our other badges, we'll be good to go. Because it's kind of surprising that, you know, once we arrive here in this gym, it's, it's of course when we lose pretty much every single thing that we worked so hard to achieve. But with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and make our way out of here. Then we are done for today. My cell phone is ringing. What the fudge? Hello, Rodri. I'm kind of in a tight spot now. I found Team Fusion and the boss is here. Can you come to Mount Stratus and lend a hand? I don't know if I can take all these grunts by myself and you've proven yourself more than capable. Please, hurry! So with that, guys, it looks like Blake is asking for our help. And that's where we'll be headed next time. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and some comments on what's coming up so we're not just sitting here with one badge and hopefully we can track down that Pikachu. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.